especially that yellow jersey coming off a world title. You want to try and keep that momentum going. It's the first event of the year. Wade Carmichael is going to be a tough cookie to crack out there, especially with the conditions the way they are. Wade Carmichael coming from a big trials win the other day as he was able to take out a solid field to earn this wild card spot, but it just needs to clean up a little bit. Carmichael will take the first wave of the morning. A little bit behind this white water, but he will slowly emerge into the open face. Now going straight up, a big hammer to start down the line. Front side hook for Carmichael. This one's starting to run down the beach. Rips one off the lip, deep bottom turn, full wrap once again. Springing into a finishing move, but he earned a bonus section, so he'll keep wrapping away. Carmichael took some time to find some clear water, and once he did, he really opened up to take the lead. Surfed his way through the trial, surfed incredibly well. That was a one-horse race in the final, pretty much dominated that. The sides are up and riding. Looking to answer back. He'll go for a foam climb, but it was a bit messy, so De Souza will still be playing the comeback role first thing in the morning. So we'll take a look at Carmichael's decision to get this first wave. You know, just a little bit of a sleepy start on this wave there, biding his time. You know, he can, he's looking down the line right now. He can tell exactly what's going to happen. Very knowledgeable when it comes to this place called Snapper Rocks. Beautiful turn right there. Now he drives off the bottom, gets those fins engaged, waiting for it to stand up. You've got to be very patient out here at Snapper this morning. The waves are going to jump up in certain sections. Right there, beautiful carving maneuver. A lot of power involved in his surfing. And as you said, that bonus section through the inside. Wade Carmichael bided his time and it paid dividends right at the end of that wave. So great start for uh, the uh, trials winner, Wade Carmichael. Now De Souza needing to play a comeback role. This one's going to bowl up for him. He's got a ton of speed now and a lift to hit. Drives through it off the top. Deep off the bottom and here comes that wrap. Nice steady tempo. It lights it up off the roof and continues to knife it off the lip. The world champ now fades out of his best wave so far. Well that was better wasn't it? Those are the ones you want. Here on the season opener as we look back at his last wave. Yeah, you know, just this part of the wave, you've got to be very patient. Make sure your feet are in the right place. You can just see the Sosa. Now he starts to pump. Now it starts to unload on the bank. Deep bottom turn, top turn combo right there. That's just classic de Sosa surfing right there. Takes his time, draws deep off the bottom and connects with that lip. Absolutely beautiful. Nice vertical surfing right there. Three in a row for de Sosa. That is going to be a great score. A lot of, we've seen epoxies a lot, but for him it was relatively new. He doesn't ordinarily order those, and he loves how it feels. This is the Sosa now. Couple cars before he goes down on the inside corner. You know, the guys are looking lively on him. Um, you know, Firewise uh, builds a lot of those sort of epoxy style boards, and, and then they seem to be going really good, especially in these kind of waves. Scores now in for the second wave for De Souza. It's a 7.77 hitting the jackpot there. Opening ride for Carmichael, 6.33 on his opening ride. So a solid battle underway. As you see the judges' reaction, couple of eights, low score, 7.5. Dropped that high and low, average the middle three. And De Souza out front after that opening exchange. You agree with the numbers so far, Puff? Before we get there, we're going to keep this one rolling. De Souza with a little busy work out the back. Two quick floats, and now he's in a better part of the wave. Steady pace off the bottom and a big snap off the roof. He's going to try to do that low road climb, which is a very difficult maneuver, and he'll end up going down early round, specifically round three, because that's another round where we reseed. And he had trouble with a few guys as we slow down this turn. One of the best bottom turns in the game. <clears throat> I mean, that's, uh, he, he gets super low. He's got a wider stance than most. And he really drives off that inside rail, gets so much speed off the bottom, and that gives him that uh, ability just to connect with the lip, get that beautiful rotation off the top, and uh, make that turn look really dynamic. As we think about the best wave in this heat so far, this was the 777 from the Souza. Yeah, you know, just a, a sleepy little start, but you know, this, uh, this is what's going to happen today. We're going to see these guys waiting for it to stand up. Now it does. You watch that bottom turn, top turn combo. He gets low again off the bottom and then just drives through that lip. And again, three in a row, straight, nice and vertical right there for De Souza. And again, just to finish things off, so a well-deserved 7.77 there. He's got game, you know, anyone that's as good as him, all it, all it is is a matter of time before he gets good in those big waves. Rolling in deep is De Souza, but it is Carmichael with priority, so it's his turn to take this wave. Top turn wrap. 
Nice cruisy roundhouse. Another fading cutback for the trials winner as he's looking to capitalize down the line. The wave grows. Speedy float into a bottom turn, rips it vert. Another big vertical hack into flow, now looking to finish, lay back, blow tail, he's under the lip and he ends up losing the finish. Uh, and there was a lot of downtime too, D'Souza making sure that he committed to that wave, and uh, as he did, so you can see just a little check turn right there, another wraparound cutback, so more horizontal turns right now, waiting for it to stand up, again, again another one, just slowly gathering points as he moves down the line. A little floater transition turn right here. This is a bit more vertical. That's what you want to see. Again, off the bottom and through the lip. You see how he's just pushing on that back foot there. He realized there wasn't really that much on offer through that wave, so it felt like he needed something special at the end. Last year, this started it all. A third here. Then he also got a second at Bells, and then a win at Margaret River over John John Florence. With priority, the world champ is going to get underway. High line wrap. Now he's got a ton of board speed. Layback. Jam off the top. He'll create some space on the inside and slow down the pace a little bit. Full rail work. High line roundhouse wrap around. And this whitewater section's got some turbulence, but he's got total control. This wave splits. He takes the low road. Nice vertical connection. Wide open space, layback, hammer, and a quick reaction to the foam climb finish for the world champion. Remember, he already had the 777, and that's easily going into his top two. I heard some uh, hooting and stuff going on. Beautiful turn right there to kick things off. Drives off the bottom, nice and vertical. Just pushing a little bit too hard. But watch this wave from DeSouza. Takes his time. Nice opening turn there. Trademark stuff from DeSouza. Now he pumps along the line. Just drops that back foot in, lays those shoulders out, and just absolutely beautiful turn right there. So DeSouza, that's kind of a trademark move from him. I like the way he started though, just nice and easy. Now he starts to pump. You see the energy coming into it. Jams those fins into the lip right there. Waits for it again, taking his time. I like it. Now he starts to get going again. Waits for this wave to build up. Beautiful wraparound cutback. Now catching up with live action, Wade Carmichael in a very important wave if he wants to get to round three. Carves, gets a little rail caught, but he'll recover into a frontside float to finish. Wants more out of the inside corner, so he'll stick with this wave just for a moment. Just wanted to see what that inside track was going to do. Now he kicks out, 245 remaining. Yeah, that wave from DeSouza is going to be a bomb, so you know, Carmichael's going to need something massive. Nice little turn there to kick things off. Now, that's better. That's exactly what he's got to do. But he's got to do it a number of times. Kind of caught that inside rail there, which wiped a lot of speed off. And then Carmichael floats up over that section. So a couple of nice turns there to kick things off. But this wave didn't have that inside section on it. It didn't have that growing part right at the end, which, which I think he really needed. And let's check out Adriano's last. Yeah, I mean, this is just seamless surfing from DeSouza there. Caught, caught a little bit of a rail, but then fixed it up right there. That's just connected absolutely perfect. You can see how much energy he's got now. He just sits, sits back on the fins and waits. Make sure his foot's in the right position. DeSouza does a beautiful cutback right there. Kind of gets caught up a little bit. You can hear the crowd because uh, Wade Carmichael fell. This is what we talk about at Grow. Watch how this wave continues to happen for DeSouza. Now it starts building up again. Gives him that bonus inside section. Look at it. Gets nice and clean. Offers DeSouza two more radical maneuvers. So this is going to be a great score for, for DeSouza. And Carmichael's going to need something up into that nine-point range. Judges watching the replays comparing DeSouza's last to his 7-7-7. Seven, seven, seven. They come out almost even. A 7.53. Last wave for the world champ. Carmichael was looking for an 8.97 on his last. You can see the judges thinking about it. There was a low score of a 6.7 all the way to an 8.3. Those get tossed and you see the middle three. All in that seven range is the best system in the game to get the scores exactly right. Now with 10 seconds to go, Carmichael can't fight back. De Souza, one of the best tacticians in the game doesn't want to give any chances to wild cards and he will take a huge win to kick off round two this morning yeah you know not surprised i mean you know the very rarely has two bad heats in a row 
Um, you know, I was expecting him to come out and do exactly what he did. You know, Wade Carmichael, obviously a great talent, served incredibly well in both heats, unfortunately came up against two of the best in the world, Mick Fanning and, and Adrian de Souza. So we'll see a lot more from him, I'm sure, in the future. De Souza, a big win to kick things off as round two is just getting underway.